Hello, welcome to uh, Shehzad Iqbal English Academy. I'm Shehzad Iqbal. Please, before starting this video, subscribe and watch the whole video. Okay. Today's topic is phrases and clauses. What is a phrase and what is a clause? What is the main difference between them? Okay. Starting with, uh, I have written uh, these uh, differences in left and right side. You have seen that uh, phrase is written there on the top and clause is also written on the top. Number one, group of words. Gloss, a group of words. It means both are group of words. We can't say this is one word. If a phrase is one word, that is incorrect. If someone says that it is a clause and word word, it is not possible. So both will be more than one word. Number two, no subject. A phrase will have no subject. Clause has a subject. A clause has a subject. A phrase cannot have a subject. In a clause will have a subject. Phrase number three, no verb or predicate. It is impossible that there will be a verb. If there is a verb, so it cannot be a phrase. So a phrase cannot be there. In a clause number three, it has a verb or predicate. Yes, it is compulsory for a clause that it will have a full verb and a subject. Number four, no full sense or meaning phrase will not give you any sort of meaning or sense number four in clause full sense and meaning if we separately uh, read that that part of sentence clause it will give us full meaning number five part of a sentence and number five part of a sentence any both phrases phrase and clause both will be the part of main sentence it should be kept in mind that they alone cannot be clause a phrase or a clause how i am telling you number one we will discuss phrase what is a phrase and how what is the recognition of how we'll recognize it number one the man was a man of great wealth yani he was a man of great wealth look at of great wealth it is a part of a sentence the man was a man of great wealth but it will not give you full meaning of great wealth of great wealth wealth what of great wealth what so it cannot cannot give give us full meaning another i told you there will be no verb there is no verb of is a preposition great is a uh, adjective and wealth is a noun so there is no verb and the man is the subject of this sentence not the phrase and was is the main verb of this sentence not of the phrase number two the manager lived in a house built of stone built of stone is a phrase there is no verb there is no subject and the manager is the sub son the subject of this sentence the whole sentence and lived is the main verb of this sentence number three i'm in a room in a room is a phrase which is the part of this i'm in a room full sentence i is the subject and m is the verb of this sentence so we can't say it is there is a verb n is a preposition i is an article and room is a noun so there is no verb number next four number four we visited the hilly area in recent times in recent times in is a preposition recent adjective times noun we visit the hilly area in recent time that is as a whole one sentence and in recent times is a phrase because there is no subject there is no uh, verb and subject okay number five it is available in all places it is it is a subject of the sentence in all places is a verb uh, is a phrase and it doesn't have a subject and it doesn't have a verb as well is is the main verb of the sentence number six the leaf fell to the ground to the ground is a phrase because there is no subject because there is no verb and the leaf is the main uh, subject of this sentence and fill is the main verb of this sentence number seven i hope to win the match i is the subject of this sentence hope is the verb of main verb of this sentence to win the match is a phrase which is the part of main sentence the whole sentence to win two plus verb but this when is not a verb to win is a infinitive phrase so to win the match is a phrase number eight she tried to switch on the light to switch on the light is once again just like example number seven it is a phrase number nine he denies stealing the money stealing the money is a uh, phrase stealing is not a verb 
Stealing is a gerund here. He is the subject of this sentence. Denies is the verb of this sentence. Stealing the money is a phrase. So uh, I'm sure you have learned phrase. What is a phrase and how we can make uh, a sentence, how we can construct. I'm telling you uh, class now. So uh, when you read it, so it will more give you knowledge about phrases and clauses. Class, the first example is although television can give us the most updated news and visuals, one clause, newspaper can give us more in-depth coverage. This whole sentence which I read now, this is one sentence. Although television can give us the most updated news and visual, this is clause number one. And the next one, newspaper can give us more in-depth coverage, this is clause number two. Television is the subject of first clause and give is the main verb of this clause. In next clause, newspaper is the subject of this clause and give is the or a main verb of this clause and this these, these two get together and they form one sentence number two if they are busy people they will miss the news if they they is a subject of this clause or is the main verb if they are busy people clause number one they will miss the news clause number two in this clause they is the subject and miss is the main verb the people who work hard are always successful look there is a bit confusion the people are always successful clause number one who work hard this is clause number two and it is put in between this the another clause so it separated the another clause so the people this is subject are always successful are is the main verb of this sentence who work hard who is the subject and work is the main verb of this sentence so you should keep it in mind that such clauses are called adjective clauses which we'll re we will read later and in this clauses you will uh, separate one clause number four each makes us use of strong points that other legs each makes use of strong points clause number one date the other leg clause number two in first clause each makes each is the subject makes is the man verb date the other legs other, the other is the subject and legs is the main verb of this sentence number five he hopes to he will return soon he hopes clause number one he will return soon clause number two he is the subject of first clause hopes is the verb of main verb of clause number one number two he will return soon he is the subject will return or return is the main verb of this clause he wished he would call us he we wished clause number one he would call us clause number two so we is the subject of this clause and wish is the main verb in another clause he is the subject and call is the main verb of this sentence so with if we separately read one of them all of them so it will give, give us full meaning like he we wished full clause and full meaning he would call us full meaning full clause he hopes full clause full meaning he will return soon full meaning each makes use of strong points full meaning date the other legs full meaning so if we read them separately so it will give us full meaning so unlike uh, phrases it gives us full full meaning phrases cannot give us full meaning i'm just giving you four words of great wealth no meaning belt of stone no full meaning in a room not full meaning in recent times not full meaning in all places not to the ground to win the marriage to switch on the lights stealing the money all of them will never give us full meaning so it means phrases do not give us meaning i i'm hope i'm hopeful um, i'm 100 percent sure that you have learned a lot thanks for watching this video uh, if you like this video please share it with your friends allah hafiz